Good evening and welcome to Compline Night Prayer. I'm Reverend Anne, I am the vicar here in the parish of Luton, St Anne with St Christopher. I will be leading you in this short act of worship this evening. I will be supported by Diane Scott, our lay reader, and she will lead us in the responses. So I invite you to join with Diane in making the responses. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to sleep. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. And in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And so we sing. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep from evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night tread underfoot a deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know O oh, Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. And so we come to Psalm 16. The Lord is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. All my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer. Neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. The Lord is at my right hand, I shall not fall. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel, and in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices, my flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. The Lord is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Give to us, Lord Christ, 
the fullness of grace, your presence and your very self. For you are our portion and our delight, now and forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Tonight we listen to St Paul's letter to Titus, chapter 2, verse 11. The grace of God has appeared bringing salvation to all. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia. Christ, the light of the world, alleluia, has manifested his glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, the light of the world, alleluia, has manifested his glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. To Jesus, Redeemer of the peoples, let us lift our voices saying, make known your glory. Lord, you are the faithful guide of those who seek you with a pure heart. Make known your glory. You came among us to usher in your kingdom of peace. Make known your glory. O Lord, encompassed in light as with a cloak, you conquer the darkness of our night. Make known your glory. O bread eternal, you feed the hunger of your people in desert places. Make known your glory. You change our vessels of water into the gladdening wine of new life. Make known your glory. You are the true host of the marriage feast, welcoming sinners to your banquet table. Make known your glory. O God, who by the leading of a star manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth, mercifully grant that we, who know you now by faith, May at last behold your glory face to face through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Amen. In peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning. So do we look for you, O Christ. May the living waters of Christ cleanse us. May the Spirit descend upon us and the blessing of God be with us this night and always. Amen. <laughs>